Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and it is time. Time to go back to Dollar Tree to do another shop with me. So I'm in the car, we're gonna head on over. Gonna hit up about five or six stores, and I'm looking for all of the new things, especially the Easter, because Dollar Tree has stocked all of the Easter things. Some St. Patrick's Day stuff in there too, and anything else that I might find that is new, come shop with me. Let's go shopping, you guys. I am telling you, the shelves are filling up with all the Easter things. I went back a couple times just to make sure I saw it all. These little Easter bunnies, the first time I went, they were fully stocked. Now there's only a couple, but they're back from last year. All of these little stand-up Easter things that you can paint, once again, they were fully stocked the other day and I come back and they're not as much. So if you like these things, if you like to do the DIYs, if you like to paint, if your kids like these, these are the ones that you need to buy now when you see them because they are not gonna be there in a couple days. Trust me, I found that out the hard way. Here's just a quick peek at some of the fun things I found. I really did like the selection this year. They had a lot of great things. I also found some new ones. I was really confused as to what they were and why they had these little slots underneath them. But I looked at the picture, it's called a wreath rail. So you can add some really fun decorations on the bottom after you paint it. This came in a couple of different styles. They aren't selling as fast as some of the others, but I think that's because people don't know what they are for. So you saw the picture on the tag, that's what they're for like this egg hunt one that'd be really cute if you're doing a whole egg hunt at your house super super fun and this cross one down here at the bottom I thought was really really nice you can paint that up and make something really pretty the wooden things right now these are new the little bunnies with the cotton tail on the bottom those are new we have some things that are repeated from last year the wooden carrots the wooden eggs you guys know I love to use these in my dough kits if you have no idea what I'm talking about because you're new here I'll put a video up here in the corner for you to go see what I'm talking about really cool thing to make for kids we got lots of these wooden things that come several to a package so you can make garland out of it You can make ornaments out of it They also had the larger wooden items too with the little bunny head and in the egg And then of course they also have the little mini eggs also great for a tinker dough box love these as well We're starting to see these more and more every single holiday. Yay Dollar Tree. Thank you for doing this These are amazing to get you get so many in one and then here are those wooden eggs that I was talking about total win we have these little buckets here that are cute. We're gonna start seeing a lot of the Easter baskets start to get stocked up. At the time of filming this, I did not see too many, but I'll show you what I did find. These are repeats from every year, great for a sensory bin, and then this random silicone bunny head was over here, so I had to show you, as well as these cups with the lids and the straws. We seem to see these every season. Also, every year since I've been doing these Dollar Tree things are these little plaster painting kits that come with the paint, as are the canvas ones that come with the canvas and paints and paintbrush. Always, as I say every single video look behind because there's different styles of these so you want to get one that you like the best finally found some new things they are laser cut wood and word once again all kinds of different words in here if you just kind of look behind I think these are gonna sell out super fast people paint them use them in decor put them in reefs these little letter guys are also a repeat except they never really have all the letters they only have a few so if you're lucky you will find your letter that you need and then we have all of the ones that come with those markers that I do not like like, use your own markers, use your own paint, and it will be even better. Got some little wooden eggs here to DIY. And then some floor mats or doormats floor mats, door mats. This one store had this little Trek one and then in another store I found a couple of different styles which actually was surprising so if you don't see them in one store try a different store you might see a different selection. I didn't see these in every single store I went into so it must be certain stores are getting them and certain stores aren't. If you know me you know I love a deviled egg. I mean I really love deviled eggs so this little holder is great for that and we got some decor but more of that coming. Yarn craft kits in a couple of different styles. We have the pink bunny and the white bunny. I like the sheep the best. You guys these come several to a package so they're made for a class project or for multiple kids or maybe you're doing church school these are great for that the rock painting kits I've used and liked they have some for Easter we're seeming to see them every single season you always have these rock kits Felt shapes are also great dough kit items. Pretend play, they come in stickers. You can make little cards or decorations. The carrots are a definite must. These are so cute. They're made out of foam like these. The wooden beads are new. Look at these pretty colors and they were really nice quality like these. You can use these in crafts or even for beading for kids. These felt sheets are new and they come in a couple of different colored packages. There's two in the solid colors and then there's two that have little dots on them. So nice to see these moss bunnies back 
this year. It's really, really cute. Use them in terrariums. I know a lot of people were loving those last year. They were all over Instagram. Some trim packages. These are brand new too. Once again, a whole color set and each color was a little bit different. If I were you, I'd get these and save them throughout the year for other crafts and decorating, maybe even decorating Valentine's Day boxes. Just saying. Look at these little guys. They're exact same as these, except they're actually decorated. So do you want them decorated or do you want to spend more and decorate them yourself? I don't know. These are kind of fun. They are the reversible sequence sheets, although I'm not 100% sure how you'd use them. But when I went back to the store again to see if there was anything else new to show you guys, all of these were gone, like completely gone. And I only saw them in this one store. They come in a lot of colors. We have the bunny paw prints, which are fun to set out for when the Easter bunny comes. We have some gingham bunnies, which are really adorable. These are around every year where you have the felt giant critter bunny chick, and you can decorate it with the other felt pieces. It also comes in a smaller version too, if you want something not so large. Some more of those little moss bunnies hanging around over here. So glad to have found them in a different store. And then we have some bunny bottoms with the little tail on the feet. These came in two different colors, the pink and the blue, and they are really cute. And don't forget the little gnome bunnies. This is a repeat from last year. I was so cute. It's a little banner with the bunnies on them. And I know a lot of people did some DIYs with them. I used them for a counting activity that I showed over on Instagram. We have a lot, a lot of the wreath making materials and some really fun designs. The LED lights are back too. We saw these on Valentine's Day and they go really quick. I'm not sure what people are doing with these. Are they putting them up on walls? I don't know. You tell me. We have some pom-poms for bunny tails, which coincidentally are the same ones that were around for Christmas as snowballs. Really good for a sensory bin, especially the large ones. Craft eggs that come in a foam as well as foam bunnies, which you can decorate too. Some peep treat bags with ties because what is Easter without peeps? Some really cool stringed carrots. And then these are new this year. They are kind of like you would do these on your own. You'd wrap some yarn around a balloon and pop the balloon to make an egg. Now they have them done for you. We have the Easter tree. If you have an Easter tree, I only saw these in two stores. One store was sold out when I went back. And then we have the foam eggs that you could put on those trees if you wanted to. Egg picks, which are great for wreath making, but I really like this yarn wrapped one. They have them in glitter too, but the yarn was definitely my favorite. We have a pick for a bunny butt here <laughs> with the pink and the blue. We have some bunnies with long ears that are floppy made out of burlap. We have the bunny legs and then some more of those yarn wrapped eggs just in different colors. Since I have crafty people on here, check out the wreath forms in an egg and a bunny head. And then we have tons and tons and tons of ribbon, all different sizes and different colors. So I'll give you a quick glance of those. This year they even had some spools of tulle. Sometimes you can find this in the craft section, but it was nice to see it over here in the Easter section. We have some glitter decorative eggs and also some larger yarn wrapped ones. Love the yarn ones, they look really good. And we're starting to see the Easter eggs come out. Now only one store I went to had these out. We have them in these packages of 24 in the multiple colors. They also had one that had a golden egg. They were really great, can't go wrong with these. And then I found some more bunnies, you guys. It comes in two colors, the white and the brown. So now you can see these go so fast because they're adorable. We got some more Easter decorations here, some garlands, more gnomes, because gnomes is an Easter thing now, I guess. Some really fun egg garland. I know people are using those to tie back curtains. I thought that looked really, really nice. Pillowcase covers. I mean, come on. So I got some of these last, maybe Christmas or Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving and I really like them a lot. So I'm going to try one of these again. We have some window clings, the gel clings. Again, look behind because there's different styles in each one of those and then some decor. Let's take a look. More Easter eggs with the patterns. Can't wait to see what other Easter eggs come in store. Of course, I will show you when I find them. We have some gnome bunnies, just like the other bunnies. And then some yard Easter egg steaks. They came in a lot of different colors. And then some hanging decorations and some real window clings. You guys, I've been waiting for these. We haven't seen these in Dollar Tree for a while and they finally brought them back and they're two pages in one. So yeah, but finally, thank you Dollar Tree, you heard me. <laughs> so this comes in a couple of different styles and I really do like these window clings versus the gel clings myself. Of course, we always have to do a glance of all of the home decor stuff. We'll set it to music. I'll be right back. A little 
little by little, we're gonna see all of the Easter basket stuffers. Here's just a quick glimpse. We have some dinosaurs, which actually looked really, really good. Very impressed by these. The colors may be a little bit off, but you know what? The size is great for the price and you can get a little collection. A few Easter baskets popping up. I actually like these. These might even be good for storage too after Easter. We have some licensed character activity set kits that come with stickers and some markers and some coloring pages. I found this in several different styles, Encanto, Spider-Man, and a few others. Some Hot Wheels monster trucks have also hit the shelves. And then what I really think are cool are these sticker face books. I found several different styles of these and these are good all year round, not just for Easter. So if you wanna get some of these, has stickers, you make your own faces with the stickers. You can put these in activity kits and restaurant kits, take them in the car with you if you don't mind stickers possibly getting on your car. <laughs> and you can use those, they come in so many different colors. It's just a really great fine motor activity and it's fun. You're also gonna see a lot of blind bags. We have the Disney Dorables and then the Jungle in My Pocket blind bags. So you open them up, you don't know what you're gonna get. Kind of a fun thing to have. Quick glance of all the different peeps. We have your normal peeps in the different colors, but then we have the birthday cake peeps. And then we also have the cotton candy peeps. And then we also have the sour watermelon peeps. And last but not least, the sparkly wild berry. Honestly, I think these go much cheaper at the other stores, but you'll have to do a price comparison. We also had some peeps milk chocolate covered marshmallows. Don't forget about Valentine's Day because it's just in a few days and Dollar Tree is blowing up the balloons, you guys. They were everywhere and they had a big selection. Get them this weekend, they're gonna be gone. Let's talk about the next holiday after Valentine's Day and that is St. Patrick's Day. The coins, you guys, we use these in so many many learning activities and counting and manipulatives and pretend play. They are awesome. You also wanna get some of the pots, which are the same ones that you get for Halloween for cauldrons. They're just packaged differently. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the decor we got going on here at Dollar Tree. I like the coins ones, kind of reminds me of Super Mario Brothers. We have the foam scatter, some hanging decorations, and then some wreath forms in the shape of a rainbow, which I actually really liked. But then this year they actually have activity craft kits. This is a totally new thing that I haven't seen before. They have a couple different styles. Once again, these are just like the ones I showed you for Easter where there's several to a package. So they're great for a classroom setting, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, whenever you need a craft to do. If you're a babysitter and you need something for your kids you babysit for, this would also be a really cool option. So many fun ones to choose from. And then there are those gnomes again. So now we have some leper gnomes. Is that what they'd be called? Gnome cons? Now I'm just making things up. Really like these scratch art kits. They are pots of gold and there's rainbow underneath that back. There's 10 in here plus the scratch sticks. And then we have the shamrock scratch art too. Okay, bear with me on this one, you guys. It's a brand new Dollar Tree item. You put your head in the center of this and you become a, sh a shamrock. Is this good or is this bad? Is it ridiculous? Is it cute? I might have to get this for one of my kids. I mean, Come on, it's kind of funny, right? We have some more decorations, some really nice ones too at this store. I like all of the party decorations too that they had. And every store I went to had a little bit of a different selection. So just kind of look around and see what there is. I did like the felt garland. I think the quality of that is nice and you can actually use that year after year. If you're decorating a classroom or something, that would be pretty great. Let's move on to some of the other areas. Look at these really cool craft picks that you can paint. They're all in a flower shape. I thought these were amazing and I only saw these at one store. So I'm hoping they're gonna pop up in some more stores too. There was four different kinds. And then they had a whole bunch of new spring table decorations. This stuff also goes really fast. It looks like watercolored flowers on this table cover. All of the plastic utensils look like super fancy utensils. I mean, look at these, they're really, really cute. They're all coordinating and they're matching colors to that tablecloth. We even have some coasters that are in the shape of flowers in three different colors. There's some pom-pom garland and all those matching colors. Lots of fun little items that you could use if you're doing a springtime party. For Mother's Day even, this would be perfect. They even had the paper napkins. I like to use these in our guest bathroom as guest hand towels to wash your hands. In fact, I took a couple of those home. <laughs> and then they had the paper plates. Everything coordinated. It was really, really cute. You could do a fun little 
spring themed brunch for Mother's Day. More Easter basket fillers over here that I wanted to point out and show you. We had a lot of rubber duckies, but they're glitter, so they looked really cute. We have the dough with the stampers on the top, and that came in a couple of different licensed characters. We even had some flarp, if you're into the flarp. Jump ropes, a good time to buy them now. It's like a kid staple. We have some playing cards and different licensed characters, more egg putty, and of course stuffed animals. Check out some of the springtime fabric. Somebody wanted to open one over here and kind of see what it was like, but this is just kind of like your broadcloth fabric. Kind of fun springtime themes. Of course, now is the time to buy seeds. This is a small display that's almost gone, but every store I went in had a lot of selection. In the craft section, we have some really fun canvases in different shapes and in different colors. I haven't seen the black canvases before. That was kind of interesting. We have some really cool pom-poms. Put these in a sensory bin. They're nice and big. I like all of the bright colors they come in. We have some felt flowers and leaves kit, which I don't really understand. It comes with the glue and the leaves and you just glue it all together and that's it. I think these are fun decorations, but I don't understand how they are a craft kit. Somebody please tell me what these are. It says they are paint strainers. Okay, I get that. All of them are paint strainers, but how do you use them? Tell me. I just, I'm not crafty enough to know. <laughs> I thought they look like something you put in the sink, but do you just put them in the sink so the paint doesn't go down the sink? I don't know. Curious. Some more canvases, this time in glitter. This came in three different colors. I'm thinking you can put vinyl on top of this. I'm not sure. I might have to try it out and test it to see if that works. If you have experience, please tell me. And then a lot of new wooden shapes in the crafter square section. We had hearts, there was stars, there was squares, and there were even circles. So these are great for craft projects, also for those dough boxes too. Some burlap banners in two different styles. I like the triangle one, it's super fun. I've also used those for beginning sewing and lacing. We have a package full of all kinds of different felt rolls. These felt really nice, they weren't too stiff, and I liked all the colors they came with. More of those beads that we've been seeing over the past few months. And then over in the office supply section, it's a new color in the book bins. It's like this wine Merlot color. I like that a lot, but I only saw it in that style. But look at these. These are also a new style of book bins, which would be great for organization, classroom, homeschool room, in the kids room, you name it. These Kendall and Kylie backpacks have been popping up all over Instagram and I actually spotted some and I hadn't seen them before. They are mini backpacks. I'd say about 10 inches, 11 inches, and they come in so many different colors and styles. They do have Kendall and Kylie printed all over them. <laughs> so that's maybe a, a downer, but they were really cute. Some notebooks that were fun. They are divided inside and then they have a lined paper. I just thought they were kind of pretty. And then you tie them with the little ribbon on the outside. All the stationery is making me think of that the back to school is coming, you guys. It's just around the corner. Now let's move on over to the toy section and see what's new over here. Here we have some new craft kits in here with pirate ship, we have the airplane, and then we also have the truck. These look pretty interesting. They are 3D model kits, so they're made out of foam and you just kind of build them yourself. A new Crayola activity kit. This is shrink art for shoe charms. And then behind that, we had some pinwheel. It comes with three crayons and the materials you need to make the pinwheel. This also came in a couple different styles. So we have the unicorn and then looks like a space theme one. We have some new packages of slinky keychains. This comes two to a package. Each package has a different shape. My kids like slinkies. They think they're really cool, but I'm not sure if I want them on their backpack as a keychain. I mean, it just seems like that would be going all over the place. I don't know. Then we have some really cool steam books. They are for kindergarten and first grade. I kind of flipped through a little bit here to kind of show you. Each page has an experiment to do. I don't know. They looked pretty basic, but at the same time, maybe that's all you need for the kindergarten and first grade level. Just look at the top of the book and it'll tell you what grade it is for. If anybody's seen this for older kids other than kindergarten and first grade, let me know. I'm just curious to know if anything like that is out there. These are new to me. I think I haven't seen them before, so be on the lookout. We also have these prank stickers, which there was only one of at my store. I don't know. This was kind of silly. Was this a good find or not? I think the little sticker of the outlet was kind of funny. My kids might get a kick out of that. Then we have a whole bunch of activity tins. Now I did see these right before Christmas, but now I'm seeing a bigger selection. So there's two different types. There's a magnetic activity kit that comes with a magnetic and the scene. And then there's these chalk activity kits that has a chalkboard inside, a stencil and some chalk. All of these came in different licensed characters and TV shows. 
So look up for those if you want something that's easy to go travel with. I might even put this in a Dollar Tree toy test. If you like the Dollar Tree toy test, let me know in the comments. Crayola has also come out with some more of their specialty crayons at Dollar Tree. We have the Bold and Bright and the Confetti. In the teacher section, I found some reading certificates that say you've read so many books. Also what's back are the little reading tools. So you place this over your text that you're reading in that little highlighted portion, and then you read that. Kind of keeps you on track if you have trouble reading. We have some really nice blank books too. This one looks like a little composition book. We have the rainbow one and some other styles. These are actually blank pages inside, so they're great for journaling, drawing, taking with you. I use them all the time to show you activities. They're a really great find. Usually we find them at Target and they're maybe become six or eight to a package for $3. Here it's four in a package for $1.25. If you were surprised that Dollar Tree has the Easter things in stores now, then you definitely need to watch my Dollar Tree secrets videos. I'm going to put those up here on the screen for you to check out next. It tells you all the tips and tricks about shopping at Dollar Tree that I use. So it's definitely worth a watch. I'll see you over there. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.